You know, one of the definitions for me for curses is empowered to fail. Well, I'm not in agreement that I'm empowered to fail because I have the blood of Jesus and I have the mind of Christ. So with that, we started to really teach on it. And I had started to really press into the Lord. I said, God, you said that I am your daughter. You said that you love me with an everlasting love. I have lived nothing but defeat. I was told all my life you won't make it. But God said you will. And that's where we have to choose the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord breaks through. He's the breaker. One of the words for El Shaddai is he is the God of utter destruction. He will destroy that which is trying to take you out. Whoa. So there's a testimony that I want to share. Someone in our church that we were ministering to. And, and I had prophesied over her, and, and I said, God's going to break you out of this pauper mindset. And I had no idea that her father said to her all her life that she was going to be a pauper. We were in worship service one day, and I looked at her, and I saw a python spirit on her. I saw this thing wrapped around her. And I didn't know she was new to the church, and I didn't know where she was at with that. But I went up to her and asked her if she would let me pray for her. Now... I called somebody over and we prayed and I started to take authority over this python spirit and the Lord said it was linked with poverty. And this thing tried to just it, steal her life from her. And, um, and, and I knew what the Lord was saying to me about his word. We have to know the word. We have to know how the breaker will break through. And I said to the Lord, he said, I want to break through in her life. And this spirit that's trying to take her out. It's her belief system. You know, BS, belief system. Which BS are you listening to? God wants us to believe his system, his word, his mindset. And so she was so locked in and one with the pauper mindset. We took authority over the spirit. We cast the demons out of her. We cast that python spirit out that was linked with poverty. We had to renounce the poverty mindset, so forth and so on. That very day, this is a phenomenal testimony, that very day, I had prophesied and I said, the Lord is going to give to you the inheritance you've always wanted. I said, because he's a covenant God. That day, her boss said to his wife, she found out the next day, he said to his wife, you know, I would really love for her to have an inheritance. I want to gift her the condominium. So now she, her little bit of her background, she uh, was a single, she never got married, child out of wedlock, and um, no inheritance. Her, the, the father of the child never supported the child. Um, she, it was rough. It was very rough for her. So, uh, so we, broke, we broke all this off of her. And now I said to her, it, it, now it's a process. I said, you're going to have to stand on the word. You're going to have to speak that thing, even though everything in you is going against it because you've been so one with that lie. And so we have to, that's why we have to renew. That metamorphosis has to take place. We have to renew our minds. We have to grab hold of it, even though everything in you, and that whisper, that devil's telling you, stop it, you're crazy, you're, you're a fanatic, you're ridiculous. You tell him to shut up. You listen to the word. You speak the word. And that was that war. That week, her, her, the boss called her and says, you will have, we are going to gift you this, um, you know, a condominium, and we want you to have an inheritance. She says, that's what was just said to me, that I'm going to have an inheritance. The following week, she got a double-digit bonus. Her stove didn't work for 10 years, started working. Her son got restored to his father. There were reconciliation. The son married a Christian girl. She started to, her life so turned around. And where she lived in poverty, God brought prosperity. And so she just gave her testimony a couple of months ago where she has the title deed to her condominium. And, and I mean, God turned her life around. God is reversing our curses, and he's restoring our fortunes. In the natural, there was no way this could happen. Absolutely no way. No way that even her, her employee employer thought that he could bless her with, you know, a condominium. But God made it happen because 
He's reversing the curses, I'm telling you. God wants us to understand we are the head and not the tail. He wants us to live this life with joy. There's a scripture in Deuteronomy that says, it's Deuteronomy 28, and it says that um, basically curses will come upon you if you don't serve the Lord with joy and gladness. See, God wants us to understand he's covenant, and he wants us to live in the blessings of the Lord. That's why, again, my portion today is meditate on the word. Joshua 1.8 says that you will meditate on the word day and night. Therein you will have good success and you will prosper. That word meditate means to, you know, regurgitate, to, to go over and over the word, but it also means to meditate, I mean to imagine. How do you imagine yourself? How do you see yourself? If you can see what the Lord has for you, if you get that revelation and you do it by faith, Listen, in the beginning, I didn't know anything about this. I just grabbed hold of the word. Jesus is the word anyway. So grab hold, become one with it. That's what caused the breakthrough in my life. So I want to encourage you today to, to um, uh, just, just choose today that you're going to meditate on the word. You're, I, you're not going to be too tired. You're not going to make excuses. Those days are over. God is preparing us. And the Lord said he is consecrating us for what's ahead. And it's the remnant. It's the, the remnant of God that God is rising at, raising up. And we can't be in this passive state. We cannot be lukewarm. He said, I'd rather you be hot or cold, but if you're lukewarm, again, like I said, he'll spit you out of his mouth. But he's saying to us, get ready. Consecrate yourself. Get that, that stuff, that stinking thinking. Get all the lies. Get all the junk that even you have been believing and, li and aligning yourself with. Get it out. Because I don't know what's ahead. He's saying, get ready. And we can't be ambushed. We have to be ready and astute and awakened in the spirit. He's calling us to be that watchman warrior people that are awake, that are ready. In, in 1 Chronicles 12, it says that these people had lion-like faces. They were able to hold a sword and, the, and another weapon in both hands. You know, they were ready. They were ready and they were armed for battle. Wait, so tell them when we prayed and broke the curse, what happened immediately about the, um, the job increase uh, and, the, and the inheritance and your, your apartment? This is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. So I, I had gone to church and I was up front and I don't know, and I, I was hesitant in the beginning. And... After so we were in the high school, Burns High, and after service, you know, after worship, Pastor said, "Greet somebody," and I turn, and she's staring at me. And she said, "I want you to come, come back up here after service because you've got something on you, and I want to break it off." And she left me like that. We were in a hurry. And I'm sitting in service, going, "Ew." <laughs> So I went up and we prayed, and and she prayed to um, break all these curses, um, and she prayed an inheritance over Adam, and you know, and um, with specific words, inheritance. I would, I would have an inheritance for Adam. That was Sunday. Monday I went to work, and my boss came out of his office, and I was living in a condo that he owned. That was part of my work package. And he said, my wife and I were talking yesterday, Sunday, and decided that there is a way. And I called my lawyer. I don't know who calls their lawyer on a Sunday. Uh, my boss. <laughs> Wealthy people. And he said, we found a way that I can give you that condo legally without you paying for it. So, so it took 10, 10 years as he transferred year by year a percentage of the condo. And in December of 2018, 10 years exactly, um, was the last transfer. Um, but he did say, when he, when he came out that day, he did say, we want you to have an inheritance Jesus. to leave your son. <laughs> Which freaked me out. <laughs> so, and it, and, it, and it came to pass, but Again, obedience, as Trisha said, obedience, forgiving, walking in forgiveness, and choosing to forgive. And you got a big bonus, and your stove that didn't work for 10 years. Worked. Working. Stove worked. Um, washing machine stopped leaking. I mean, like in, in 24 hours, all this stuff happened. 
Um, and, and again, you know, Adam uh, is, is doing great with his dad and his, you know, his dad just came through again. Um, thank you all for you who prayed for Adam this week. He was uh, admitted to the hospital and everything's great and he's fine. Your prayers are great. Um, and the, the, that morning, the next morning, I said to the Lord, um, you know, they need a car. The car died. And, and they need a car. And I don't have the means to give them a new car, but you do. So you have to fix this. That's pretty much all I say. You have to fix this. Later that day, his dad called me and said, I talked to Adam, but I don't think he's giving me the whole story of what's going on. So I told him some things, and then I said, and by the way, he needs a new car. And he said, oh, all right, I'll give him a car. <laughs> so they picked up the car last night. Come on. So awesome. it's just, you know, doing it. It's, it's accepting that God is our, I mean, he's just, I just say, Dad, fix this. Um, and he does. He comes through. But you, you've got to do your share. You've got to forgive. It's a huge, big thing. Um, and, you know, Adam chose to forgive. And I said, they have a, I was just at his dad's house for Adam's 40th birthday party. We do it. We're all fine. And it's, it's a life choice. But breaking the curses. I mean, we did, we walked through this, Cindy, Easter, a lot of times at their lap on the floor in tears. But we did it, and we walked through it, and I would go home, and I would walk through it with Adam, and I said he, he met his beautiful wife, the, more than I prayed for, uh, in a daughter-in-law, in church. They both serve in church, so... It cup, yes, it really does. When you ask for a testimony, I can say which one, because God just, just blesses. He just... Uh, 